Right now, students and other community members are preparing to hear from a U.S. Supreme Court justice. But Justice Amy Coney Barrett's visit isn't without controversy. Jonah Kaplan is at the University of Minnesota for us. And Jonah, what is the justice here to talk about? You know, this is not the first time a justice has been here to the University of Minnesota. In fact, even Amy, Amy Coney Barrett's mentor, the person that she likes to embody, Antonin Scalia, he was here visiting as well. There have been liberal justices. And this event sold out very quickly. I want you to look behind me because you can see all of these barricades. There is a lot of security here. And you can see the barricades extend all the way around this building. You can't even see the Northrop Auditorium, which is where this event is taking place. And take a look at the video we took earlier because there is a large, uh, a fairly growing protest going on here. Several students you mentioned earlier that there was a, a petition, about 700 students saying, she shouldn't be here, that it is uh, opposite and antithetical to uh, what the university stands for. On the other side, though, however, we did speak with law students, many of them saying, look, even if we don't agree with her, it's important to hear from her. Plus, where do you draw the line in free speech? It's important for free speech and everything to hear the opposing view. Like, once you start saying, like, we can't invite this person because they said this, where do you draw that line? I just think that's a really slippery slope for especially a public university to get into. And this public university have come out with a statement of their own, a spokesperson saying that freedom of expression is a core principle in our mission. It's our commitment and our responsibility as a public university to invite new ideas, different worldviews, and open dialogues that challenge us and our students. This is true even if speakers express views that some of our students find objectionable. Again, a sellout crowd, even though it was a free event, but more than 2,000 people expected. Coming up on the news at 6, we're going to find out what the justice spoke about. Did she go into some of the thinking behind some of her controversial decisions? And we'll get more reaction from the students and some of the attendees involved. Erin? All right. Jonah, live for us at the U of M. Thank you.